going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel giving it today with another warframe video for you and um, we're doing a little bit of survival so we are um basically just doing little bits and pieces survival to level stuff up and to try and obviously get me higher light level so first of all i need to say a big thanks to not only shortbread but also flay as well who grind with me even though they're master rank 22 and i'm still only five and a half on console um which is a bit annoying when i've done it so much more into the other game as well but it is what it is and i've just really been enjoying my time quite immensely playing this game and just getting back to to what i used to do with it and and how the game used to play and how it used to feel and all of those bits and pieces and what i found is accidentally it was rather than following the same path that i did when I played it on PC was I've kind of bounced around a little bit and done a couple of the other newer missions first rather than doing the other bits and pieces which is what I should have been doing so yeah it's it's one of them silly things but it's it's going really well I'm enjoying it and you know I, I've got Nidus I'm using here in the background Mr Tentacle Boy um, just having some fun with it and just trying new things uh, Baltor on again was my, one of my favourite assault rifles from the first game. Just again a lot of fun, and it is quite nice as well that I've now got my Kubrav thing, um, who you can see headbutting shit everywhere. Uh, who is called um, soft my soft wet hole? Um, I've done that purely for comedy reasons because it's really funny listening to your teammates saying my soft wet hole is down, uh, my soft wet hole is injured, uh, my soft wet hole is dead. Uh, um, but it, the, the funny thing is watching him be headbutting everybody and everything all over the place so yeah I'm having fun with this game again and it's one of the things that, that this game has always gotten right in my opinion and it's something that I said the first time around when I first started playing it was just the overall gameplay, storytelling, updates, the way that it runs, the way that it works I always find really really good I tend to find that the cutscenes you learn a hell of a lot you learn a lot of the lore of the game and the way that things have turned out the way that they have and why things are the way that they are and why somebody's bad and doing the badness and everything that goes with it as well the game still looks as phenomenal as what it did a few years ago when I started playing it so like I said overall for me it's a it's just a brilliant game it's so much fun to play just the leveling up ability of it the the way you can learn certain tricks to level stuff up and if you can't get to a certain level because you can burn out by going through all the missions so you stop doing certain things so you need to go and do stuff like survivals and you need to go and do stuff like other missions to just to try and level up and the other thing the little trick that i learned the first time that i was playing and it's been said to me and mentioned quite a few times now is um taking all of your weapons off and only putting on the weapon that you want to, to level up because that way rather than your affinity being spread across all three four things that you're trying to level up it will it will go all to one thing yeah, instead so just little things that make the game easier but i just i just the game is just it's just fun it's just interesting to play like i said um i haven't missed the get clem line that's uh that's been there like it was in the first time around playing it so yeah it's, it's good to sit down and play and it's a game that you can sit down for a few hours and you know record quite a substantial amount of gameplay you can go through it you can find the interesting stuff that you've done all of that kind of stuff just to make your life a little bit more interesting i've said it before i'll say it again this is the game that destiny wishes that it was and without riders coming out as well destiny's gonna have to go some way of getting it right so we're gonna have to wait and see what the new update for for destiny is going to be like when um the the witch thing whatever you want to call it. i mean i've not played destiny for a couple of weeks now i've not even done iron banner because i just purely i just can't be bothered i don't have the energy to do it genuinely don't have the energy to sit and play iron banner and get pissed off within the space of about three minutes when i can go and do a sortie mission here i can do railjack i can go do a survival we can do we can test ourselves and go right okay let's see what level we can get up to how many you know relics have we got that we can use just let's just stretch out and see how far we can go let's build up some affinity build up some points all of that kind of stuff i just i don't it's just it's a better game there i said it it's a better game than destiny it's more content rich it works a lot better for me anyways and just things that you can do with the weapons just make the overall game itself hilariously stupid <laughs> to play and some of the stuff that you can do and you know you can synergize with your teammates that you're playing with 
that's going to do it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. This has been Gibbon, playing a little bit of Warframe and uh, massively enjoying myself. But I'm out of here, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Much love. Peace.